Hey, what's up guys? Good to be back with you again. Wanted to make a quick video here uh, celebrating our victory here so far this season. So in case you didn't believe it, we have won the FFAS Senior League. Um, we have officially clinched the title after that uh, 42 victory, and we are officially qualified for the 2023 Champions League. We'll talk about that part first. This is where it's interesting. So our schedule, as you can see, it starts in July, ends in November. I think that's going to be the same thing for the competition next year. Usually it um, sort of follows the same structure each year. Um, and uh, let's see, yeah, start date starts in uh, late August, and then it ends in uh, December is what they're saying there. Um, I'm not sure why it has an end date of December. Maybe there is something that happens afterwards. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out the hard way. Um, the interesting thing here is that this Champions League, at least in, uh, yeah, in 2023, is going to start at the end of February. So this is going to be one of those saves where we have the Champions League, probably the qualifying matches, which is what I'm guessing that we've qualified for, um, uh, that will start um, in a couple of months after the end of the season. Now, that's going to start after these transfers come in. So we are likely to have a very new-looking team by the time all of this stuff comes in the transfers that have been agreed to of course i don't know about these uh guys who are still waiting we're waiting for their contract them to approve it or whatever so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what we can do um it'll be interesting to uh take a look and see what uh what that's going to be like um in the champions league competition i am as i've said before not convinced that we're really ready for that um but we'll see what happens maybe some of these players that are coming in are really good i don't know everybody's happy for us we were 10 to 1 preseason odds um we've won the first com our first competition since 2005 um, which is uh, very very um, good for us the board is delighted because um, they didn't think at all that this was going to happen and uh, yeah we'll go ahead and take a look here and uh, see sort of that uh, season review um, it's been a real interesting season right we started off our friendlies with a bunch of losses of course I didn't uh, manage any of these and I thought oh yeah here we go this is going to be interesting especially this first one this uh, six to five loss I thought man this is going to be a crazy crazy league to play in um, we won a friendly drew another one and then um, won one two three in a row and then from there we just took off in the league you can see that it was Maile the whole time who was scoring the goals hat trick in the first match hat trick in the second match one more here um, and then uh, two more in this one, hat trick here, another goal here, hat trick here, another goal there, two more in this, another hat trick, and then uh, numerous goals here in uh, these final matches, including the hat trick in the match that uh, you just saw um, earlier today. That's kind of the way that we've done it. We've done it big, winning by a two, three. There was a close match, another two goal, two goal, um, uh, two matches in a row, rather, with the uh, two goal margin of victory. We tied this one against uh, Viola Tongan. And then we exploded against Utile with a five-goal victory. And then um, some of these have been close, but for the most part, they haven't. We have had a hard time because we've been giving up a lot of goals. And um, that is um, in part due to our uh, sort of poor defense. Though I would argue that as I've looked closer at the defense, it's probably more due to the uh, state of our goalkeeping than anything else. We go look here at the competitions and uh, take a look and see how we're doing. Um, the uh, Maile, of course, is going to win uh, the uh, Golden Boot here. There's no question about it. 29 goals. If I don't start him for the uh, two remaining matches, it's not going to matter because he's still going to win it. I prob I might start him in the end, though, just for fun. Um, 11 assists from Pele Milani, and that's where that uh, connection between these two has been really amazing. Nine Man of the Match awards from Maile. We've played 18 matches, and he's won the Man of the Match for half of them. It's just incredible. 8.43 average rating, which is easily the best in the uh, league and then Atu is tied for most clean sheets with three which is again surprising to me because I don't think that he's really been that good um, if we go to the season preview still this will probably still tell us the same thing it has the whole time and yeah it does we were picked to finish fifth this season and everybody thought that Pago Youth were going to win it was actually Viola Tongan who were the closest to uh, overtaking us and when we beat them a couple of days ago that's when things really really happened as far as transfers are concerned as I and I've said this before the only transfers consisted of us releasing players including of course Han Jong Sung, um, who was uh, not a particularly good player, who is not on a team at the moment, um, who gets a, a D from uh, the uh, scouts, and who it looks like is wanted uh, by the Tafuna Jets. Great, they can go take him. He'll uh, lead them down further and further down the uh, drain. Um, so most of this stuff is obvious. We've had the most shots, most points per game, most goals. Um, we haven't had few shots against. Our defense has not been that great. Not a great pass completion ratio really for any teams. Possession, we're actually really close to this 49%. Everybody's right around 50%. Nobody's dominating possession, so not really such a big thing. Um, and uh, that's really about all that we can say there. When we look at the uh, player um, leaders, 
Of course, uh, Maile is the leader in uh, goals. Milani in assists, as we've said before. Maile with the most shots, and that's not even close. I mean, he takes so many shots. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, most man of the match awards, as we've uh, mentioned before. When we look at things like uh, most tackles, Wang Lung Kilda of all players is up there, and he's really not that good. We're going to move on from him. Um, and uh, most dribbles maybe we don't have anybody up there. So there's a lot of other stuff that we could have done. We're not really much of a dribbling team. We're a lot more of sort of a lump the ball forward for Maele and let him beat the defense type of uh, counterattacking team. And uh, that's just sort of the way that it's been. Pretty good-looking squad overall. If we sort them here by average rating, of course, Maele ends up being number one, followed by Pela Malani. Um, who hasn't really played as many games, I think, as he could have, if I'm remembering right. Now, he's actually played in quite a few, but there were a couple of games here where we didn't use him or he was suspended. He also had a couple of games that were really poor, 6.2, 6.4. Sort of to be expected at this level. We see a lot of players who are like that. Most of these guys, though, are kind of obviously very, very good. Some of them are poor. I mean, Jermaine Collins... We're going to move on from Jermaine Collins. This guy is older and um, has a lot of problems with his game. Um, he played only a couple of matches. I mean, his best match was this one against Green Bay, right, uh, in which he played the full match. The rest of the time, we usually were taking him off at halftime just because it's not happening. Um, Chris Kaliopa, of course, was going to be a uh, star player for us, but is out with a long-term injury, unfortunately for him and uh, is also fairly susceptible to injuries. So uh, hopefully he'll be able to come back, but, I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Overall, though, pretty good effort from this team. I'm uh, very happy and pleased with what I've seen so far. We do have some young players here that haven't played that much, like MJ Skonlon, who um, I think are really, really capable of playing well for us if we give them a chance. We just haven't selected him, right? We've got too many players playing in the same position. A good problem to have. And uh, so that's pretty much what the season has looked like so far. If you're interested, we can look at the club finances. Again, we don't have a transfer budget or a wage budget. Our financial status has only gone up. Um, I think that it will go up further as um, we go into the Oceania Champions League. I am assuming that at some point in time there is money associated with this. Interesting that we have uh, 348 euros of expenses for travel costs. I'm not sure where we're traveling to. America Samoa is not really that big. And our projection, of course, is that um, the balance will continue to increase, but we're not going to have a transfer budget or real wage costs anytime soon. We'll probably just continue to make a uh, good profit, and uh, expenditures, again, will probably be just about the same. Not too much to worry about there. In terms of the club vision, um, the uh, board are absolutely pleased with the results. In fact, um, when we look at the performance, we're still um, showing up as A plus and everything. Interesting to see that uh, with matches, we get a B minus from the board and a B from the uh, supporters. We couldn't do this much better, so I don't know what they're so upset about. I guess they're upset about Pago Latu not really playing all that well. Um, he hasn't played well, which is why I haven't been playing him, right? I mean, he played this one against Viala Tonga, and then we had to take him off at halftime because he was about to blow the match for us. But overall, so far, so good. We're doing all right. Um, we are. Uh, we haven't made any sort of improvements to the team at all, nor are we likely to because there's just simply no money. Um, I am still in-game in the process of trying to earn one of these coaching bags. We'll probably have that done by the time that we move on from this club, and uh, we'll see what we can do from there. And as you can see here on the competition screen, the Champions League does show up, though we're going to have to wait a couple of in-game months for it to uh, turn up. Now, we'll see how long it takes for me to get everything set up right so that um, we can uh, move on to the Champions League stage once it uh, comes down to that. Uh, that's because we have details set uh, to a certain length here in Oceania. That means that um, moving forward will probably be a little bit slower than I'm used to. So we'll see what happens. It's one of those things where you do in the background while you're doing other work or whatever. Um, but uh, we'll do the best that we can. And there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. It's been a good season, and um, we'll see what we can do to um, uh, move on forward. What we got for you here next time, I'll show you this again, is we're going to play against the Tafuna Jets tomorrow and then Royal Poon of the day after and that'll be the end of the season i anticipate that we'll win both of those matches which would uh probably give us what 50 uh 58 points here and we probably end up about 20 points or so above uh, the second place team maybe a little bit less than that but um i think it's in the bag i think that we've got this one down and um this is uh, actually one of the best teams i've played with in uh relative to its league so far in football manager 2023 so there you go talk to you with more tomorrow bye-bye